last week on the five best friends. Plus two, minus one, maybe a rowboat. We don't know. You guys, after suffering the uh, pains of the curse inflicted upon Hayes and Adeptus uh, at the hands of the Rakshasa, um, who attacked you um, suddenly during your voyage to Peladorna. Uh, you were forced to make land earlier than expected and decided to uh, moor in the uh, coastal city of the Kassartian Empire known as Ipsala. The large uh, cathedral-style gates spread across the uh, hilly landscape as this, this sort of large uh, golden city just, just sprawled out in front of you. After uh, attempting to find some uh, uh, cure for the uh, curse that had inflicted your party members, we found just a little bit of respite in the form of uh, a tincture provided by the church itself um, that required both Hayes and Adeptus finally get some sleep within the abbey. Uh, the rest of you opted to uh, go out and... Uh, adventure across the town uh, which of course led you to a tavern as per usual uh, that tavern the uh, the hungry steed uh, a little cleaner a little a little different than your standard establishment uh, a little indicative of the empire itself um, the uh, patrons were lively uh, and varied uh, and uh, after a bit of uh, uh, a bit of funny business in there. Um, you all decided to get some rest. But in the middle of the night, um, bursting through the tavern, guards filled the room. And as they made their way upstairs to the to the room that Kalita was staying in, um, you were awoken by the sound of, again, heavy footfalls, shouting voices. Many of you scattered throughout the tavern, some throughout the town. And as we find ourselves, Kalita, you are in bed, two figures standing above you. What do you do? Um, I wake up. <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked. These aren't my five best friends. <laughs> I mean, you, don't, you don't know that. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. You. It is. I it is. It, it's like it's somewhat five best friends. These could be two additional ones you don't know about. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> they're just in my room. They haven't like turned on a light or no. They, well, a lantern. They, yeah, Do they, they didn't. Have I, they don't. Uh, they don't have lanterns. The um, uh, the the light off of uh, you know the um, the, there seems to be light emanating from them. Um, to some degrees, uh, and uh, they did say to you, um, "Demon spawn, uh, we require that you come with us." Okay, I'm gonna look around and see if there's a window. Uh, there is one directly behind you. Okay, I'm going to open it up. Open up the window. Is that okay? Uh, let's go ahead and let's make an initiative roll. Uh, we'll go ahead and ev have everybody just roll initiative. Yep. I'm very asleep, so I don't know. Oh, hold on. Let me let me delete all the old ones and have you redo it. We're gonna we gonna have to do it on our markers. Yes. Okay. Please. Um. Uh, we have markers. Just click our pictures. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Those of you that have sorry. markers. He ain't sorry. Ooh, this. Ah, uh, I see now. Oh, perfect. I'm sitting. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I couldn't remember where you were last week, Val, to be honest with you. I was staying up for a bit. Just, I found it out. I wasn't very ex explanatory on it. I just mm -hmm. said went and found somewhere to sit. <laughs> I 
<laughs> God, I don't know. Someday we're going to find that predator. <laughs> we need an army. call it the tainted ghost. <laughs> oh, no, that's much you worse. You rolled a one. <laughs> Oof. Oh. <laughs> hey, can we go with our first rolls? What was our first? What was it? What was the first roll? Seventy-one. Fifty. Seventy-one initiative roll. Um, <laughs> I had a thirteen. I don't have your. I don't have you. I don't think you clicked on your token here. Hold on. Uh, seventeen. Gremnik, you had a fifteen. I had a thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. And I'm missing someone else. Let me just get a. Let me really set the mood here. Fit. I thought it was. I thought it was. Fitting. All right. So I've got Asto, Kalita, Val, Gremnik, Quaylen, and I'm missing one of mine. So excited. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> What are these icy white marble tiles down south? Huh? Uh, it's essentially like a uh, a white gate. It's a white wooden gate. That was just the best. Uh... That's why I allowed you oh. to see through it there. Beautiful. Perfect. <laughs> okay. This is pretty exciting. Ooh, what's gonna happen? All right. Um. So Kalita, you uh, yeah. So you have some time to do something. You want to open the window. What is your what is your plan? Yeah, I want to open up the window, and if there's a screen, pick it out. All right. So there's no screen. It's just a. It's you know. It's just the the window itself just sort of um, opens opens out uh, and up. Um, so I can say you can use your action to open the window, uh, and you, you have enough time to 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 get it open. Uh, the night uh, sky and the city and the, the ocean and all that comes rushing in as you're sort of uh, in sort of a panicked moment. Okay, can I do a what's it called? Um, bonus action? Yep. I don't know where it is. Um, wild shape instead of bonus action. Uh, yeah, you can actually wild shape as a bonus action. So, you're, what do you want to change into? Um, a rhinoceros. A, a what? No, a raven. A raven. <laughs> oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, and I take. I, where are you flying? You just flying away? I'm flying out the window, and I can fly to a maximum of 50 feet. So I was thinking okay. of flying back to the other two sick ones. All right, so everybody else... Uh, oh, so you, you want to fly back to the cathedral? You want to try to get to the cathedral? If I can make it that far in one turn. You're definitely not going to make it there in one turn, but I would say you get, you get fairly far away from the window. Um, okay. Uh, shooting around the side of the house as you go, uh, shouting inside as the uh, uh, the soldiers begin to make their way downstairs. What are the rest of you doing? Uh, I still was following a couple of bumpkins. Correct. The you, so you you followed them to about here. So you saw the soldiers gathered outside of the um, the inn itself. The bumpkins have uh, you know since walked on. Okay. Uh... Am I still in stealth? Or I gotta roll again? Oh, uh, you're stealthed. Okay, then I'm just gonna take a walk up the street, casually minding my own business, about 30 feet. Just 30 feet. Okay. 
Um, yeah. I guess I'm just gonna catch on the corner, mind my own bit. Yeah. Okay. What about the rest of you? Val, Gwalen, Gremnik. Uh, uh. <laughs> I think we all went to say something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, in, in order of initiative, I think it's Val. Yeah. Well, I was just gonna look to the guard to the to the right of me here, where Val is. She's just gonna ask, like, what, what, what's all this about? Uh, make a persuasion check. Uh, he sort of looks at you uh, and then and looks around the room and says, We'll miss this. A known murderer in the tavern. No need to be alarmed, please. We'll take care of it. All right. Whatever you say, big guy. Um, as that happens, the other uh, you, you see soldiers start to march down the stairs. Um... As they do, uh, s several of the uh, one of the ones in charge, obviously the guy seems to be more adorned. He's got the higher rank. He sort of turns to the others and says, "Gather her compatriots. Take them with us. We'll get information yet. Search the city." Uh, with that, um, Val, two of the soldiers grab you. <laughs> Yahtzee. Um, Remnick. <laughs> and so with all the crashing and banging, uh, Gremnik kind of raises himself out of a drunken stumer, stupor. And kind of brushes himself off and looks around. With that, he starts to wander back in. This is a door directly in front of myself, no? Uh, it is, correct. All right. So Gremnik walks into the main room, uh, you know, rubbing his eyes and not really looking around. Turns to his right, towards uh, the stairwell, and leans up uh, on it with his left hand and starts to fiddle with his breeches to to relieve himself. Uh, he needs to take a piss. <laughs> um. Uh. Okay. Um, wait, wait. <laughs> I guess I'm just fiddling with uh, Mark, kind of tightening up some stuff, and just kind of talking. I'm assuming uh, Grimnik t to sleep. Mm -hmm. I think just woke up. You, you know, this world really is a big and scary place for people like us, Master Dwarf. Not really that he's, that he's like slowly gone, walking away. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you two of the uh, two of the guards from behind as you're you're in hitting uh, in the corner um, just uh, they put their hands on your shoulder and they uh, master dwarf um, if you could please come with us that oh, wait your turn <laughs> not really realizing he's not at a latrine mm -hmm. just, you know <laughs> He turns from the wall and sees that it's guards, and you know his eyes kind of start to come into focus as he starts putting the pieces together. He, he doesn't look too impressed with the situation. So we'll we'll go back to initiative order here. Um, uh, Kalita, you are making your way back to the abbey in Raven, Raven form. So you're you're again you're sort of flying through the streets. Um, is that still still the plan? You don't yeah, really know. You don't. Right now. Yeah, she doesn't really know any better anyway, so she'd be heading there. Um, Val, are you doing anything, or are you going to let them take you? Um. So, how am I being grabbed? Is this like forceful? Uh, it's not. <laughs> it's not. In, it's slightly it's, forceful. It's, 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 it like, is a little is it forceful. Like you come yeah. with us, or is it yes. like you're under arrest? It's like you're. It's like you're under arrest. 
how many are grabbing onto me right now? Two. One on each side. It looks like they're moving to bind your hands. Well, then I, I was going to... Where... First of all... Where's the exit on this place? Is this the door here? Yep. Okay. I was gonna just like face step over to that door. I believe she can do that while being grabbed. Uh, yeah, as long as there's no somatic component. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so, uh,. Yeah, so you face step to the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, you, um, do you open she, the door? She doesn't, she doesn't have her, her winter thing happen there then, I'm assuming. Um, which is... Uh, A creature within five feet of me. No, I would... Is, is it the charmed thing? It's be frightened. Um, yeah, you could, yeah, you could use that if you want to. Okay. Pick one. Well, the one that was grabbing me. <laughs> All right, so there's two that um, were grabbing you. So he's gonna make a what's the save? It's a cur charisma. I think so. Wisdom. Uh, it's a natural 20. Oh. That's awesome. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I go to open the door. <laughs> uh, so as you go to open the door, you see even more guards outside. You can sort of see through the street um, that there are, it looks like six, six additional guards standing out. Two of them turn immediately to the door. <laughs> uh, you can see the sword. They, they go for their swords. So. All right, add that. Val just cut them backs up a step and like gets on her knees and puts her hands behind her head all right I'll, I'll i'll go i'll go um great okay uh gramnik all right so Gremnik watches Val, like, surrender and looks at himself surrounded. They begin, they begin to bind her hands behind her um, and put these uh, sort of uh, metallic cuffs on uh, and start to walk her towards the door. Yeah. Gremnik uh, starts remembering uh, some times from his youth, well, many times from his youth at being mistreated at the hands of the guards, and his eyebrow kind of starts to twitch and his you know, lips curl into a snarl. He, uh, you know, doesn't actually arm himself or anything, but he yells out at the guards in front of him. Ah! I know that the best among you not be here. They be out escorting your other hoity-toity polished codpiece types. So, you might take old Gremnik in a rush, but I'll make sure you're too busy burying your dead to sing your victories tonight. <laughs> not too late to explain what's going on here. The, um... You, you see, as the the other the, the two two of the night the guards that are going to grab you sort of like go to reach for their weapons and the uh, uh, the the sort of hooded figure that the sort of a more adorned adorned uh, priest uh, walks over and sort of waves a hand for a moment and says, uh, "It would appear, Master Dwarf, that you are cavorting with a known criminal here in Ipsala. We have questions for you." Come peacefully, lest we have fewer questions to ask. But trust me, I have my ways. Grimnik like, starts to puff himself up a bit and then starts to deflate. Yeah, you got me. You got hold, Grimnik. He like, calms down a bit, but 
you know, the discontent is still obvious in his face. I'm coming! Get your hands off, Gremnik! Uh, the reports from the ship said that there should be a gnome as well as um, uh, the pirate and two others. Search the city. And well, Gremnik, that's how old I was when I first <laughs> left the you know, home. <laughs> uh, how old were you? <laughs> Gremnik? Gremnik? <laughs> <laughs> Who the blazes are you? Um, sir, if you could just come with us peacefully with your metal contraption, we don't want things to get out of hand. What sort of business is this? Um, your, your, your presence is being requested uh, by the Grand Inquisitor in relation to... Uh, Ah, oh, yes, yes, of course it is. Bring yeah. me to him. Um. Uh, clearly, has gotten out. <laughs> I can hide it no longer. <laughs> Lead on. <laughs> uh, Asto, so outside, in the scene outside, you, you watch as the, uh, the guards begin to spill out of the tavern. Um, your eyes lock for, for a moment with Val's. Um, as as they are taking her out, her arms bound behind her. Sure, I get tied up. Hmm. I always get tied up. Uh, after her is Gremnik with his hands bound behind him, and Quaylen just walking, sort of casually out with Mark One. Hmm. Ah, yes, you found my escort. You make sure they come along also. <laughs> I don't like this. No one can do this. Um, so where are these? Uh... I can't see anything. Where's? Oh, we're coming out over there. Uh. Yeah, let me try to try to set them up for you. Let me see. No, I got a blindfold in my pouch. If you mm -hmm. want to take this the extra step. <laughs> Am I revealed? Mr. Stealth. Um, so you're you're not really hiding behind anything. You were just sort of like trying to act casually. Um, mm -hmm. So two okay. of the guards do begin to sort of walk your way and uh, clear a side, citizen. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them Absolutely. begins to sort of look at you in the dark, like sort of squint their eyes a little bit. I'm gonna turn my head away. Move aside. say nothing just watch the procession are we having technical difficulties nope i just just switching stuff around so as the team, uh, uh, Val, Gremnik, Quaylen, um, are all escorted through the city, uh, you watch several several of the guards break off into groups uh, and begin searching through alleyways and um, you know uh, uh, bits of paper. And, and in a moment, you're able to grab them. And on them are um, essentially wanted posters. One that looks shockingly identical to Kalita. Um, another um, that has your face on it. Um, uh, another with haze, uh, and another with a you know a sort of description of uh, adeptus. What's the bounty on me? 
What am I worth? Uh, there is no, there's no bounty. There's no like reward posted. Yeah. You're worthless. <laughs> Better admire the portraits for a minute. And then roll, roll them up and suck them away. Yeah, it just says it just says enemies of the light. There's no names really. Okay. That that's it. I can see. Yeah. So what are you what are you trying to do? I'm trying to follow without being seen. Cool. Okay. Uh, you watch as they you on. watch as they guide them. You know, trying to keep your distance. Make a stealth check for me. Oh wow. Yeah, so you sort of dart. <laughs> I have to turn. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you become one with the street. Uh, you sort of dart <laughs> through the um, uh, the chambers themselves. Uh, the, not the chambers. The uh, uh, the streets. Uh, staying out of the light, you see that the um, several of the, the soldiers are carrying torches. The, the ones, uh, two of them are just illuminated the similar way that, that Adeptus illuminates his hammer. Um, as they make their way through the street, the weave through alleys and up several hills to um, a large gate uh, with a portcullis that opens as they arrive. As the uh, as they all walk through, um, you, you start to begin to look and you, you sort of hug the walls uh, of this uh, looks like large stone keep uh, that is jutting out with with. Uh, the, the inner workings of which have this sort of cathedral-esque quality to them uh, as they enter um, a set of small wooden doors in the side of one of the towers. Okay. Um, and where is this? This is this is not in the, the temple, the, the abbey. No, no, this is a different different place. What? Okay. What is the deal with Hayes and Deptus? As far as you know, as far as you know, they're still asleep. They're asleep in the uh, essentially the large cathedral. I'm going to try and follow the group. So you've, you've pretty much followed them as far as Let's you're going to be able to... You've, you've pretty much followed them as far as you're going to be able to get without trying to actually sneak into this fortress, which, as far as you can tell, is going to be significantly more difficult. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're trying to do if you're trying to find a way to sneak past the guards into this actual keep. Um, it's going to be a series of additional checks. I'm gonna turn around. I've noticed the resemblance to Adeptus's magics. I'm gonna make my way back to the app. Sneak of course. To make your way back to the what? I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear what you said after. I'm going to make my way back. Where? It's Adeptus. Okay. Towards where we left. So, like Kalita, you're headed back towards the uh, the yeah. cathedral. Okay. Um, so, Kalita, as you uh, you sort of fly, is she back, Gremnick? Are you back, Kalita? Am I back? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. And good answer. So, as you <laughs> Am I uh, back at the cathedral. Yes, you, so you're flying around the outside of it now, sort of looking for, uh, I guess, an open window or something to fly into. Most of it seems fairly shut. Um, what do you want to do? Um, I guess go down to the ground and sneak in through the door. Okay. Um, so you shift shapes to go back into the doorway? Um, no, I'm just going to sneak in as the raven. 
She's going to try to push a heavy wooden door open as the raven. Make a perception check. I'm going to, hmm. yeah, see if I can wait for someone else to go through. Okay. Make a perception. Fifteen. Fifteen. Um, so as you're you're sort of flying around, you do actually notice that one of the windows on the, the northern side of the cathedral uh, is open uh, just enough that you can sort of squeeze in in your bird form. Uh, and you fly through. Um, it, it, it's a bit of a maze as you uh, are, are trying to find uh, your friends and remember where they were in that sort of central cathedral because now you're in sort of an upper part with rooms everywhere, darting in and out of doors. Um, uh, some monks startle as you as you begin to fly through uh make a survival check for me okay wanted to do one of those <laughs> another natural 20 Ooh. holy moly oh, god um Ooh, wait these <laughs> are spicy tonight we doing what we want <laughs> so would you <laughs> <laughs> I'll as do you, what I want as you fly through the hallways and through doorways and, uh, you know, past, you know, monks who are trying to hit you with brooms and um, you make your way back into the Grand Cathedral Hall uh, that you remember walking through initially when you first entered. Um, darting down the corridor, you, you find you, you take a left and the right and another left and you're in, uh, you see the doorway that has Adeptus and Hayes sleeping in it. The door is shut. Okay, I guess I will shift back into Kalita at the door right, just yeah. so I can open it and sneak in. So as you shift, as you shift your form, um, you can you see that there are uh, there's nobody else around. The, the cathedral seems relatively quiet in this portion. As you sort of creep in, um, you can see Hayes and Adeptus sleeping, um, quite passed out. Uh, uh, on, on two two cots in the room. Can I wake them? Can I wake um, Adeptus? You can try. Um, Adeptus, uh, make a perception check at disadvantage for me. Okay. Because it's still the middle of the night, right? Correct, and he and he had, was uh, you know cursed yeah. and hadn't slept in two or three days, so it's that kind of sleep. You know, you know the kind. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. So as you are and you are forcefully sort of grabbing him and trying to wake him up, and he is just sort of rolling over, and he is he's not waking up. So bad. He seems alive. He's breathing. But he is not oh, waking good up. For, good for you, buddy. Getting some sleep. That's good. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna tuck him back in. Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna wait there until perhaps that original priest comes back that we didn't have any trouble talking to. Sure. How, how are you going to wait? Are you waiting, like, hidden? Are um, you trying to... Are you just... I'm going to try and, like, hide behind... Sneak, a... sneak into bed with Hayes? Like, what's your what's your plan? <laughs> I am going to hide kind of behind one of the beds. Whatever okay. corner looks darkest. Okay. Asto, make another stealth check for me. So you are um, continuing to, uh, you know, hide in the, you know, in the shadows, trying to make your way through the street. It's slow going. There are guards everywhere. They are searching up and down alleyways. Uh, a few moments where you think, oh, you, you know, someone. It's almost like someone spots you, but you manage to uh, hide your form and sort of duck and uh, out, outrun them through the shadows. 
uh, finally in, in the darkness, um, you know, with your with your eyes sort of attuned to that, uh, with their their sort of elven nature, um, <clears throat> you see the you can see the looming shape of the cathedral in the distance. Make one more self check for me. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Um, so, yeah. So, <laughs> so again, you 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 manage to dodge a lot of the uh, the companies that are searching with torchlight, uh, and you find the the door to the cathedral itself um, is locked. Uh, from the door of the cathedral, I can see the ship, right? Um, you can see kind of the harbor. Um, it's a bit of a ways away. Um, and uh, again, even with your your limited dark vision, it's it's tough to see that far in the dark. Um, okay. but what you can see are torches. Um, quite a few at the dock. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna sneak around the building, try and look for a way in, a way to climb up. Make a perception check for me. Uh, so as you begin to look, you're 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 trying to again in in trying to hide in the shadows and in and stay in the dark. You try a couple windows and uh, you know some of them. Um, you you climb. You're you able to pull yourself up a little bit to test them, and you can't find any that seem to be open. Um, without trying to scale the entirety uh, of the building, How, even then um, looking up, you don't see anything. Uh, the door is locked, barred, bolted. Can I attempt to pick the lock? Uh, as far as you know, it's just locked. But go, you can go ahead and you can try to pick the lock. And it's thieves' tools, huh? Correct. And what did what'd you roll? I'm sorry. 15. A 15? Um, so frantically, um, you begin to sort of pick the lock. It, it, cool at first until you see, you know, again, more torchlight begin to come around one of the corners and you hear the voices of guards, um, several guards walking in direction. Um, it, the, the lock itself is old and, and sort of cast iron. And uh, it's been a while since you've dealt with one that's this aged in the... You, after a few moments, just as the torches get closer and closer, you hear the satisfying click uh, as you pull open the doorway uh, and, and pull yourself inside. Um, is that my turn done? Is that as far as I could move? Uh, well, you're kind of the only one moving right now. The rest of the, the rest of them are being guided into uh, um, this sort of prison. Okay. Um, gonna go look around for for Duchess. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so you also you, you follow that same path um, uh, that you had followed earlier um, to get to uh, where Adeptus and Hayes were staying. Go ahead and um, actually we'll just say so you get to the doorway and you open it. Uh, and you see in the dark, um, you can see Adeptus Hayes and some other figure kind of hidden in the shadows. I say again? I see... You see Adeptus and Hayes lying in the cots, and behind one of the beds you see another figure sort of trying to hide down in the shadows. <laughs> Bad hiding. <laughs> I'm just going to step over, like, right above the person. Who are you? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look up and mm -hmm. flash my horns and uh, widen my eyes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? How did you get in? 
Live away from the guards. I have no idea what happened to the others. Interesting. Because I've got here a scrap of paper. Astor's gonna take out the picture to leader himself. Show him my side. It says here you're wanted. It says Are I'm we? wanted. We're both wanted? We're wanted. Yeah, I think they are prejudiced against my race. Stone raises an eyebrow. So, uh, what's the plan? I try to wake these two up and warn them, but I had no luck. What did you try? I tried waking Adeptus up by just, you know, ramming him with my body. Shaking him. <laughs> <laughs> As they're gonna look at Adeptus prone and help push him off the bed with his foot. <laughs> uh, Adeptus, make a uh, <clears throat> make a just a straight perception check. Right. Just a, no perception. Just straight. No, no disadvantage. <laughs> Again. So you watch. Yeah, you watch as his form just thuds against the floor, and he is still just motionless. Uh, you know, just Shit. sort of roll okay. rolls over and yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, turn to to Hayes, and I'm gonna get as close as I can to his ears and whistle as loud as I can. Uh, Hayes, go ahead, go ahead and make a perception check at uh, disadvantage. All right. Uh, 17. All right. Uh, so it's uh, in the, whatever dream you're having a ball of yarn floating through an endless field of catnip or whatever, whatever, <laughs> whatever, whatever sweet dream you're lost in in the moment. Um, <laughs> you, um, you awaken from your, from your endless sea of milk and, uh, <laughs> to this sharp whistling in your ears, almost so high pitched that it, it's almost inaudible to um, uh, to some of the others in the room, but it's just it rings through your head like a bell. Um, oh shit! Oh, ah shit! Later, saying nothing to it. <laughs> Hayes is like standing on the bed, his tail's full puffed out. It's rubbing his ears. The f oh, shit. <laughs> Who's there? What is this? <laughs> Terribly sorry to wake you, Master Hayes. Are you asshole? It took me so long to quit your sleep. It's, Why would you do this to me? Asto, Master Hayes. Uh, uh, Asto, why, why? Please. We came uh, all this way just so I could I sleep. Um, um, I wouldn't have woke you if it wasn't a good reason. It's been, it's been a bit of an issue. Yeah. Uh, the inn, the tavern. And everyone that you don't see here has been arrested. By, well, a, a bunch of that lot. And he nods towards the Adeptus and the I figured this would be the best place to come and, and find out what's going on. Uh, he grabs his tail and just still staring at Asto, but just absentmindedly starts to smooth it out and defluff it. Um, he just he squeezes it a little bit just to make sure, like it's like a, a am I awake check? And, uh, yeah, he jolts himself with it. Yeah, yeah, he's awake. And uh, what what do what happened? 
the the two, who took them uh, the the uh, I mean, the right under sort of people. Yeah, no, seems so. A lot of them, way more than I care to fight by myself. Uh, uh, why, why, why were they? Why were they taken? Well, initially I had no idea, but our faces have appeared. <laughs> and he hands Hayes the wanted post. Take a look for yourself. Oh, that's a horrible picture of me. <laughs> uh, why would they? If we didn't do anything. We we're just. Why are we wanted? Asto sort of chuckles to himself, thinking about past escapades. There's no way the jeweler from Shota is sending the, the whole entire town of guards to uh, to get his ring back, right? I don't think they were after me. I'm sorry. I didn't steal that ring. Uh, no, that was me. I, that, yeah, uh, um, yeah, no, no <laughs> yeah, the one I gave to Val. That, that ring, you know. Oh, that ring. Uh, but uh, he wouldn't... Uh, they won't send everybody. Eh. Is um, they sent everybody because of me. What did you do? Um, I believe it's just due to my race, but I'm not sure. I honestly have no idea. I was very shocked to wake up this myself to this. What 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 did you wake up to? Guards, and they called me. An evil child or something like that? I can't um, remember. can... can I... see if Kalita's telling the truth? Yeah, make an insight check. Fifteen. Uh, as far as you can tell. Okay, good. Yeah, she seems pretty... Uh, pretty even healed the way she normally is. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, we get to get back to the boat, right? We get to, uh, well, no, we can't get back to the boat. We get to get everybody. I think so. Okay. Uh, can, we, can we sneak over to the jailhouse together? And the four of us, I guess. One of us will have to carry Adeptus for a while. Uh, Asto's looking around. Is there a, a vessel anywhere? Somewhere you might find uh, some water. Make a perception check. Like, uh, you, you have that, like, water, you mean? Water, water. Yeah, Drink. or, 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 or something else, sure. Or oh, chalice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah make Good a perception check. Um, so yeah, we, uh, quick search of the room, quick scan. You do you do find um, what looks like a bucket of in the dark. Looks like it's a bucket of liquid. Um, you assume water. Um. Uh, not bothering to check what liquid it is. <laughs> Only kind of hovering his hand to make sure it's cold. And you know where it's going. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's room temperature. <laughs> I'm gonna pour it. On a depth's face, and they'll attempt to open up. Very slowly. Drop. Uh, so with that, Adeptus, you are you are awoken as you are suddenly covered in um, uh, what is essentially cold water at this point. What? What? Why can't you city prey? What on earth is the meaning of this? Yeah. What are you doing sleeping on the floor? What's wrong with you? And then... <laughs> look around. What am I doing on the floor? You've been molesting me. We... We just got here, please calm down. I knew this would happen. I'm not judging where you choose because to sleep. I met you. You look like a molester. broke <laughs> 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 down. <laughs> Asto's gonna roll his eye. Wake up, please. And then sort of puts himself to his feet. What? 
What on earth is the meaning of this? Well, I have some good reason. Now, I'm gonna keep it short, mate. A bunch of your lot took a bunch of our lot into a fortress. My lot? What do you mean? Yeah. Armed guards all bearing symbols and, and relics of, of this dude. Kind of nods at an effigy. Referring to the town guard of this place, perhaps? Seems a little more than guards, mate. It's your fault. What did you do? What did you try and heal? Who did you try and con? Oh, that's mate. You'd be surprised. Just minding me out. This narrows his eyes. A likely story. Well, have at it. What? What? Why? So, apparently there are posters around with all of our faces, and uh, uh, Kalita here uh, is being uh, singled out for some reason. Uh, we have reason to believe that we're probably in danger right now, and should probably get away and find how to get our friends. Hmm. Well, perhaps we can find the meaning of all of this. If you say they are my people, perhaps I should speak to them. Perhaps you should, mate. <laughs> they're, they're just up there, here. Yes, I'm sure they're roaring for a conversation, you know. Let's arrest everybody and sit them around the table and have a nice chat over uh, hot chocolates. Preston, was Adeptus on the uh, wanted posters? He was. Again, just a, just a, a vague sketch of his face based on, you know. Based on his face. <laughs> 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 Uh, he's just gonna glance out the window, um, and just kind of, kind of look around and see if, like, there's, like, a clear path down to the, uh, down to the, the boat. Um, so there, there's no clear view from where you are, um, there are no windows inside, um, this portion of the cathedral. Um, if you're to, if you want to go out and try to look outside, um, that's a slightly different story, so um okay yeah and there's no this room itself is there's no windows it's, it's sort of in the center oh, portion, okay yeah. oh, okay gotcha um it's really an infirmary there's not uh you know it's, it's meant to trick yeah. uh, it's meant to treat sick patients it's not like a, a <laughs> meant to trick sick patients yeah <laughs> uh you, you got okay it. yeah uh okay so i i don't know if we should stay here or not uh, but uh, we, uh, where, where is this uh, place where our funds are being held? Uh, <laughs> it was uh -huh. fortress like, portcullis, barricaded. It's up the hill, can't miss it. Okay, we should go and try to uh, try to get them. Why we woke you up? <laughs> uh, so as you guys begin to uh, 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 formulate your plan of attack, um, Gremnik. Um, actually, now we'll start Quaylen. Um, well, all of you, realistically, you are brought into uh, this keep. Each of you brought into separate cells. Um, and shut into, um, uh, you know, walk down several flights of stairs uh, into a dark uh, hole with iron cells, uh, each of you placed uh, in, you know, in, in separate ones inside the, um, uh, the belly of this massive fortress. Um, you can hear the water and the ocean crashing outside um, just beyond a set of small uh, iron barred windows. Uh, 
uh, at this point, uh, each of you has been bound. Um, Mark one is um, being kept separately from you, Quaylen. This hardly looks like a spot for an honored guest to wait for the king. Da, ah, dark. Hello. Is that you? Hey, yeah, that you know. Yeah, what are you guys on. in for? Ah, no. I thought it was the mouse. I thought, you know, maybe there were a silver lining in all of this. Bound in a cell? That ain't so bad. We've seen worse, guys. Yeah, you know, this ain't the worst dungeon I ever seen. What is it you suppose they were? Yeah, it said something about criminals and murders and, uh, and couldn't make heads or tails of it. What would they want with us? Yeah, we've if never heard it apply. Crimes, it's that tabaxi. <laughs> <laughs> no talent hey, with these type. Hazy, Hazy is a good man. Cat. He stole me this ring. Ah. <laughs> that he did. Gremnick just kind of bounces his head off of the bars a few times at the conversation. <laughs> uh, with that, uh, you know, several of the um, the guards make their way back down and they open your cell, Quaylen. Um, and they begin to um, sort of force you out of it and, and up uh, the hallway. I'm going. I'm going. I can walk myself. We don't all have trees, but I guess uh, as they guide you into a, uh, uh, you know, up another flight of stairs into a, um, uh, a sort of large, um, open office style uh, room. There's a desk and several bookshelves and um, uh, a man sitting uh, sitting behind the desk, uh, a middle aged human um, in sort of a, um, you know, a, a white collared shirt. Um, the uh, uh, the the hem uh, is, is is embroidered and, and, and the shirt itself is immaculate enough that it's, it points out to you um, uh, thick black hair um, sort of um, cut short um, in a bit of like sort of spiky bangs in the front um, it's like in in dark dark brown eyes he sort of stares at you with his fingers folded across uh, across the table you recognize this now as uh, the hooded figure that had um, uh, assisted in your capture. Master Gnome, um, have a seat. Well, have a seat indeed. Mm. I thought you were here to bring me to your leader, and here I find myself in shackles and chains. Yes, well, I, I, I assure I you... I demand to know the meaning of this. Mm. Uh, I assure you... Do you have you, any I, idea who I am? I, I, I do not, but I assure you I will be asking the questions going forward. Um, so, no um, with that, you watch as his hands move um, uh, a bit, and uh, it, 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 with a couple of words, this sort of you, you watch this sort of magical energy pour out of him. Um, you're not sure what has happened. Um, you don't feel any different. But he sort of stares at you for a moment, leaning across the desk. What is your name, Master Gnome? What is my, what is my name? Oh, I'm the Great Quailing Kazoo. Master Kazoo, how is it you find yourself in Ipsala? Well, it really, it really is quite a riveting tale. Uh, a few members of our crew came down with a curse, and we were forced to take port so that we could find relief. Lucky for us, we stumbled upon your cathedral. Uh, the cathedral. Go on. 
No, as I, as I said, we needed medicinal properties to remedy the situation of our crewmate. And you received this treatment at the cathedral? I received nothing of the sort. I got out of there. You know, religious folk, they make me, make me tingle. I need to get out of there as soon as possible. <laughs> Bad man. Uh, you, watch, you watch him snap you. fingers and he, as he points to someone and one of the guards goes bolting out of the room. So, um... I'm sorry. Um, go on, please continue with your story. So you got the tingles, and you you left the cathedral, and then uh, what was this? A week ago? Two days ago? A week ago? A week ago? Let me tell you about a week ago. There's this little goblin on our ship. She she just plays with black powder. She's a complete imbecile. And then the crew. Let me tell you about the crew. The rest of the we are, crew. We are aware. Oh. We are aware of the crew. In the imbecile you speak of, she was a bit of a yes, handful. Well, you know, and, and, and that captain, he gave the reins of the entire ship, uh, aimed the cannons at the cathedral. You know, he's crazy, and he left it in her hands. And madman, I assure you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, the complete sellout. <laughs> He just sort of like raises an eyebrow and starts to take notes. He's just writing things down. Yes, well, excellent. Well, I appreciate your honesty in forthcomingness, um, Master Gnome. Um, if you will, talk to me of the uh, the uh, your uh, compatriot, the um, the female devil's child. Female devil child. Which one is that? Yes, I believe here. <laughs> I, I believe you had her name here as. Uh, let me see. Uh, uh, a, a Kalita. Say a devil. I mean, we did. I call. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't say I've ever met a devil, sir. Um, uh, she is. Uh, the, the the tiefling, I believe they call themselves. Um, they are. Oh, yes, yes, the tiefling. Yes, yes, yes of course, yes, the tiefling. You are aware She's that they tiefling. are, they are, they bear the blood of devils, yes? Ah, I, I hardly think that there's literature providing supportive documentation for such claims. I mean, you, you sound like one of those religious folks. I am sure you there is quite a bit of uh, knowledge on the subject. And I am um, sure you, any, anyone who informs you of this is quite ill-informed indeed. I have actually, if you would, I'd like to cite one of my papers that you might find if you have access to a DCM book card. No? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's many other outfits I could suggest. You've been quite helpful. Master Dwar Master Nerman. And you've been not helpful at all. But now, when will I be seeing yes, you? With, with that, the guards begin to, they, they sort of grab you and they force you back down into the cell and they walk, they walk you back and sort of toss you in. Oh, he strains out his coat from the collar. And, and I say, audacity of some people. Huh? <laughs> back to this. Yeah. Uh, Grim. Uh, Gremnik next they come and they grab they grab you and a couple of them are struggling with you a little bit um, ah, hands up you get your hands off Gremnik so if you could please go quietly yeah, you keep your ugly human mitts to yourself I'll come um, they walk you up the that sort of set of the same set of stairs and after a few moments uh, you enter in the uh, Individual seems to be rubbing his head and looking through several pages of notes as you enter. Ah, yes, Master Dwarf, you're the one they call Gremnik. Is this correct? Eh, they call me lots of things. That'd be among them. Yes, and you watch as his hands do a, a bit of a movement um, and with a, with a few words that sort of energy radiates out from him. You immediately... Uh, make a... Make a... Um, or make a wisdom check. Uh, 27. Oh boy, I'm glad we're not fighting anything yet. <laughs> Natural 19. Um, you immediately recognize um, that he is uh, rebolstering a Zone of Truth spell. 
Grimnik's eyes narrow as he watches him go through the ritual. Oh, I see. You're asking. You're asking your light daddy for favors, eh? <laughs> Master Grimnik, if you would please be so kind as to explain how it is you came to Ipsala. Ah, let's make sure your spell is working first, eh? You got a terrible haircut. Ah, yep, that seems to be working just about fine, wouldn't you say? Sorry, what were you asking? This is the kindest version of this particular type of questioning. Um, I promise you I have much more interesting measures at my disposal. Again, how is it you've come to find yourself in Ipsala? Oh, blown here by the breeze, don't you know? Technically, he's telling the truth. Uh, details, Master Gramnik. We know that you arrived aboard a ship. We know that that ship carried you and your friends. And we know that the ship went by the moniker The Tainted Ghost. I know that in your company is a wanted criminal uh, as well as a known pirate and what seems to be one of our own. Uh, we will be researching this. So if you don't mind foregoing the uh, delightful nature of the dwarven race, if you could just answer the questions as they are asked, we can be done with this nonsense. Ah, this be the most entertainment I had all night. That inn was terrible. And the brew, ah, oh, don't even get me started on the quality of the ale. It's worse than your masonry. <laughs> he sort of he rubs his head again. Why are you in Ipsala, Master Dwarf? Well, you know, some of those compatriots of mine you spoke of. Ah, well, he kind of looks off into the distance as he begins to recount him with the tail. So we're sailing, you see. And we get attacked by a devil-like, you know, a backwards cat. And he, he struck two of me friends. And though we drove it off, you know, bleeding and screaming, they... They couldn't find rest. They couldn't find solace in sleep, like. Terrible screaming out and pain and the like. So we had to come seeking, seeking assistance, you know, from your, he narrows his eyes, holy hands. It is my understanding that you yourself possess uh, similar gifts as provided by your, if you'd want to call it a god, Ah, uh, there'd be a dwarven word that suits it better, but I, you, you speak your young tongue. And you had no measure of your own to uh, cure this curse? Ah, uh, ain't, a, ain't a trick that's been revealed to me as of yet. So you arrived at some point last week, correct? Grimnik considered is it for a moment. Eh, how long were old Grimnik sleeping now? <sighs> Start scratching his beard as he thinks and looks up. Hey, uh, yeah, that that sound that that'd be sounding about right. Mm, he narrows his eyes a bit. And tell me of uh, this Kalita. What do you know of her? Yeah, what's to know? Uh, horns, nice girl, you know, fine companion. Keeps herself, most like, but helps when she can. And at any point in your visit here, did you notice she disappeared for extenuated, extenuated periods of time? Um, did you have your eyes on her at any moment? Has she um, acted strangely in any sort of fashion? He considers uh, the question for a moment. Yeah. No, she mostly, you know, she, uh, she stay close, like, you know, especially in a strange and, he narrows his eyes again, hostile foreign land. Mm. Yes, but it appears that she is not here, and she, um, very quickly abandoned all of you, so, um, uh, while you may be telling the truth, 
Um, as you understand it, I would ask or beg that you question your loyalties. That is not... Ah, what's this all about? What are you asking about her yes. for now? He waves his hand and they begin to shove you back out of the room. Ah, too many teeth on you. Ah. <laughs> Uh, and as they bring you back in the cell, Val, they didn't, you're next, and they, they sort of push you in the room. Um, Whoa. Hey, guys, I'll come. I'll come. I'll come. With you. Where are we going? <laughs> Grimnik, well, they treat you all right in there? Ah, you don't have fun with them. <laughs> <laughs> And as he uh, as they guide you back up into that room, you see the same um, the same human human figure sitting in the chair across the desk, Hi. Again, just going through notes. Yes, yes. Have a seat. Um, I don't know if I have mention of Oops. your name here. Uh, what are you called, um, madam? Well, they call me Val. Okay, uh, Miss Val, please have a seat. All right. Yeah. Uh, he watches. He again bolsters those symbols. Miss Val, how is it you have come to find yourself in Ipsala? Ah. Um, where do you want to start? Do you want to start at the big lizard? There was a real big lizard. <laughs> start wherever you seem fit. That was a while ago. Weeks, at least. So you've been here for weeks? Oh, no, no. We got here yesterday. So or narrows today, his eyes I guess. Again and writes another note. You arrived just, just today, yes? You're saying? Uh, I don't know. What time is it? Interesting. Um... Uh, Go on. Why, why have you arrived in Ipsala? Well, my friends couldn't get some sleep after I tried to, like, kill one of them because I was cursed by this thing I guess we think is a demon. And that's... We came here. Closest place, I guess. I don't know. Hey, what's that on your face? You want me to lick it off for you? I'm... I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um... He begins to like brush his face. <laughs> oh no, you 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 got it there, all yeah. by yourself. Man, oh. Uh, well, um, so I, I I'm sorry uh, if you could. I I seem to have, and you sped through that last bit. You you attempted to kill one of them. Yeah, I, I got. It was really weird. I've never really been cursed before, but I, I got cursed. I guess. That's right. not 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 cursed. Controlled, like a puppet. Interesting. Believe me, um, I was crying inside. I did not. And, and during this period, my... you who was it that you attempted to stab? My best friend. And One of them. Your best. There's okay. like five of us, plus two, minus one, plus one or so. If we could stick to um, the story and not the mathematics. Oh, the, the fuzzy one, Hazy. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, hold on. Um, he flips through his notes. Uh, yes, the tabaxi. Yes. Yeah. And where where is Master Hayes? E. Uh, <laughs> I think I remember exactly where he is. That is, <laughs> if he is where we left him. Well, don't let me stop you, if you could please. Where, where, where would that have been? At the cathedral, yes. Is that what you're calling it? The big one. It's really not that big, though. Yes, well, I'm That's familiar with. The, I, I, I guess I, I too have seen uh, elvish structures. They are quite impressive. Uh, anyways, I'd talk say to thanks, me. But I didn't do any of them. Yes, uh, talk to me about. Um, this Kalita. What do you know of her? She's pretty cool. I don't know much about her, like her past or anything. 
but we hang out all the time. So, unknown to you, her origins, uh, at any point during your stay here, would you say she has acted strangely or left your sight? Um, you feel she is a trustworthy ally? Absolutely. I, I didn't. You know, we, we, since we got here, we were together the entire time until, until that one moment. Do you know where she is now? No. It would appear that she has absconded, um, transformed into a raven, and... <laughs> Classic Kalita. Yes. Uh, with no concern for your own value, life, or, or value your safety. So, um, again, well, I asked... I'm sure she had a good reason for turning into a raven. <laughs> she doesn't just turn into animals because she wants to. It's because somebody's trying to attack her. Which happens quite a bit. Sort of narrows his eyes a little bit. Um, yes, well, I have a bit to think on. I appreciate your candor, if you'll call it that. Um, thank you. Yeah, and he sort of waves his hand and begin to pull him out. Uh, this as... has been fun. <laughs> um, no more questions? No, he brings you back down. You're already outside. He takes the guards, grab you, and pull you quickly out and back into your cell. Whew. That was easy. How do you guys feel? Ah. Need a decent drink, and me hands to be free. Oh, what a pipe. Everyone, I'm not going to sit idly by much longer. If they don't bring that leader to me, I hear about the potatoes. Um, Hayes, Adeptus, uh, Kalita, Asto. Um... The uh, again, the, the cathedral I itself is beginning to sort of uh, come alive. Is is a bit of uh, there seems to be a bit of a, a bit of a raucous outside. As the you know you, you continue to see uh, as you guys are sort of creeping out of the room, like torches outside, and um, um, you hear some voices. As the the stirring of the town is sort of waking everybody up uh, in the middle of the night. What is your plan? I imagine this wouldn't be the first time you've snuck into a prison-like structure. What say you? He looks at Hayes and Asta. Asta just shrugs. Honestly, I, I have not, but... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. I wonder if I could get in. Uh, um, but uh, the, the the issue is I don't know about getting in. It's about uh, getting in without people seeing me and then or us and then we're surrounded by a, a an army with our guards. I don't uh, uh, that does not uh, please me. Yes, I share your worries. I must say, I really don't understand this matter. I'm sure if I was able to speak to the the captain in charge, I'm sure I could smooth it out. It must be a misunderstanding. Maybe. If your face wasn't plastered over a wanted poster. What say you? What poster? Yeah, thanks. Give it to him. My word, what a likeness. And credit to the artist. <laughs> well, a misunderstanding it must be. Still. Best to be careful. 
I must say I have not snuck in to a prison before, or snuck around many places. Well, I, I, I think it would probably be best if we get out of here. Uh, if they know where everyone else is, it's probably not going to be long before uh, they know we're here. So I say we should leave uh, and, and find some place dark and, 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 uh, and quiet. Uh, as you say that, Hayes, the, uh, you hear, your ears perk up as you hear um, from the, the hallway sort of echoing through, you hear the door open, you hear sort of uh, some, uh, a bit of a, uh, a, a difficult exchange between one of the priests and, uh, in the priory and uh, what sound like several guards before you hear the sort of clanging of uh, those metal, you know, metal uh, van braces against the, uh, against the stone. Um, um, uh, around me is there, uh, I think, I think they're coming, guys, guys, we got to hide. Uh, 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 Adeptus, uh, uh, um, unless you want to try to talk to them, uh, screw this, and I'm, I'm gonna try to find, like, uh, something to hide behind. Yeah, so you're just trying to hide in the hallway, <laughs> what is your, uh, um, well, make a, make a, uh, just make a, I guess everybody makes stealth checks if that's, what is everybody else doing? Yeah. You're attempting to hide where? In the room? In the hall? Yeah, so, we're, well, I mean, it's in here. the room we're in? You said there's a couple of beds, right? Is that all that's in? Correct. Got... Yeah, yeah. There's no windows. There's no, um, uh, the and actual, the, the sort of infirmary there itself is a small room with a couple of cots that were dragged in specifically for us. It's a small bookcase. Um, uh, the, the bucket that you turned over on Adeptus, um, a couple, um, uh, you know, like a, like a, a couple shelves with some bandages and other, um, odd tinctures and, in herbs. We can't hide in here. Uh, no, no, we cannot. What are you doing? It's trying to hide down there. Um... To the best of my knowledge, outside of this room is just kind of open hallway, right? There's no real... So the outside of the room is a it's a sort of shorter corridor that leads uh, with one door that you know leads to uh, the sort of grand, like, cathedral hallway. Uh, the other sides and the other... There's, there's multiple other doors and other directions. Kalita actually flew down through quite a few of them because there's multiple floors to the cathedral. It's a large building. Uh, particularly on the the side that you're in, uh, they seem to spire, you know, go up uh, tower like. You uh, lot should run. You should run. Uh, I feel I cannot run around like a criminal in the, one of my own cities. I should speak to the I captain. Say, this is quite unorthodox. You know, we treat all. We, we, we treat all the sick and the wounded. This is, you cannot just barge in here and, and demand to see it. And, uh, they run, me fools. With that adept, it sort of rushes towards where the, where the commotion is happening. Mm. Quite time for the group. I will stuff and try to slide across the hallway into the, the main room. Yeah, same. Okay, so two stealth checks. Yeah, I'm coming with. Kalita, you should turn into a rat. They'll have a hard time seeing you as a rat. My stealthy is a rat, though. Okay. Uh, I believe so. Uh, so that's a 23 from Asto. 26. Yeah. 26 from Hayes. And a 21 from Kalita. Very nice. Uh, so as you guys I, sort of dart out that. of the you, you dart out of the room, you can see Adeptus sort of like like blocks the hallway in front of you as he heads towards the uh, the commotion as the door bursts open. Uh, the the room fills with torchlight. Um, as, as several of the guards swarm uh, swarm in, uh, almost walking past him for a moment before realizing uh, who it is, and they they immediately grab him um, and begin forcing him out uh, as as more begin to spill in behind them. Um, you guys, so you stealth where are you guys headed? You tra- so there are, there are five additional doors in this wing, um, 
two on your two in your left, three on your right, one of them being directly across from the infirmary. Which door um, do you, which door do you choose? I want to go uh, to not the one directly to the right, but the one past that. So not the one directly across the the next one over. No, no, I want to go down the hall a little bit. I feel, uh, I think that it would it so essentially there's figure three, it yeah three doors down the hallway. So to the right, you know, each side there's three there's three doors. Um, the one in the infirmary, if we're if we're looking straight down the hallway, uh, is your is your 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 left bottom left. There's two more doors above that that are closed, and one, two, three, one directly across the infirmary. You're going for the middle one on the right, is what it sounded like, or the one all the way down yeah. the hallway? Oh, the middle one on the right is the one I'm darting to. All right, hey, so as you first, and I'll, I'll do this one at a time, right? So as you first as you first dart to it, you you, you, you swing open the door. Um, the, the, the room itself seems to be uh, filled with um, additional pews and um, some of the cots, so similar to... Uh, the ones that are um, in the infirmary, as well as um, uh, several stacks of other sort of older the so furniture. So the, the room itself is sort of filled and cluttered with with other things. No exit. Okay. Asto. Which door? I'll go to the one to the left of where Hayes is. So down the hallway all the way to the right? As you push open the, as you pull open the door, um, uh, uh, inside is, is, is uh, uh, another uh, small chamber. Um, it looks like some sort of latrine. <laughs> Kalita, which door? Um, the one at the end of the hall. As you make your way down the hall to the left in your rat form, you sort of scurry underneath, um, scurry underneath the crack. Uh, you know, compressing your body, you, scurry, uh, you squeeze underneath the crack. Uh, you do notice a set of stairs that lead up. Okay, I'm gonna take the stairs up. Okay, so very quick perception checks from Hayes and uh, Adeptus. I mean, not hey, not adept. I'm sorry, Hayes and Asto. Seven. Uh, Asto, so you notice, you notice as the uh, you know you're looking through the train behind you. Uh, Kalita's form sort of squeezes through that door. Um, it, quickly as the guards begin to spill in, uh, you 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 close the door and you 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 bolt through uh, and follow Kalita up the stairs. Hayes, you go to turn looking and you don't see Asto or Kalita uh, and as you do so um, the guards grab you what what is what is the meaning of this what the, what are you doing get yeah. off of me uh, please come with us sir come quietly or be forced to use force <laughs> <laughs> what what uh, what is the meaning of this I demand an answer yeah, you will, you, all questions will be answered if you please come with us. Okay, don't man under me. Get, get those uh, human paws off me. Okay. Fine, I'll come. I'll, I'll go. Um, as, uh, as the two of them are let out, uh, more guards begin to stream into the building. Um, you, you, climbing, uh, climbing up the cathedral, you eventually find... Uh, a window big enough that uh, and unlocked big enough that you two can crawl out of. Um, do you want to go out? Do you want to exit through the window? Heck yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. Ask yeah. Him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so as the two of you open out, Kalia is still in a rat form. Kalia sort of you sort of climb up Asto uh, as Asto begins to um, uh, scale the side of the building. Asto, just make a quick. 
acrobatics check for me. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I got you, homie. Uh, yeah, so as you, you as you exit, as you dart through the window with Kalita, um, sort of clinging to your um, uh, your sort of uh, ramshackle red uh, dress and weird corset that you that you wear, um, you uh, cl- you scale the you scale your way down. You hear the rush of guards beginning to storm up the uh, up the tower after you uh, as you make your way quietly to the street. Um, a few moments of darting in between shadows and a few sort of um, tense uh, situations where you feel like you're almost caught. You uh, you manage to get in the clear. The you you watch as Hayes and Adeptus are are led um, out and and back up the hill towards the the prison itself. Uh, the entire time Hayes is cursing at them and under common. This shouldn't do root the end. Which means that, if anyone knows, smooth face, fat legs, insulting the humans. Asta is just watching from the shadows as they march. Hazar, kind of admiring and pride for taunting the bird. Well, uh, any any bright ideas? <laughs> I just kind of squeak a little bit. I thought you'd say that. As <laughs> so you guys are pushed into the interior, um, the first to be grabbed is uh, you, you guys watch as Hayes and Adeptus are each also thrown in cells uh, beside you. At this point, Gremnik is, you know, screaming about a decent drink and banging his head, his head off the bars and generally just being a, a disorderly prisoner. Made yourself at home, Gremnik. <laughs> yeah. Good, yeah. Priest. Priest. That's it. Oh. Hey, guys. What are you guys in for? Is that degenerate? Uh, oh, I hey, man, they got too cool. I bet you well, the singing. Got me. Who really has got me? So who who is who is here? We got the I hear Gremnik uh, Val. Uh, yeah, the gnome's the... here too. I'm here too. Look at this mess you've got us into. What did I do? Yeah, what did you do? I don't know. I was invited here as a guest, and now look at us. I knew it was you. <laughs> I was sleeping. I was. I finally got some sleep, and then uh, I still screamed in my ear or something, and uh, and then I did. We got wanted posters uh, all over the place, I guess. And uh, uh, I, what? The, and they said they said that uh, uh, Kalita's got one too, and they called her a demon child or something. I, I heard. Yes, yes, quite derogatory. I, I don't Terrible know matters. what the. I don't know what they want. They want to want with us. Ah. Just exposing us to their hospitality like cold stone and no decent liquor. What's the matter with you people? I too am quite appalled by the circumstance. I thought I was brought here to speak on literature. My work. Ah, uh, didn't even water the dwarf. That's just cruel. You hear that? Cruel. <laughs> Did they strip us of all of our stuff? Uh, yes. Your weapons, your weapons, your pouches, um, essentially all all the good stuff. A- any way to have like a holdout lockpick? Um, so your your hands are your hands are bound. Um, oh, okay. But you can tr- try to make a um, make a perception what? check with disadvantage. Okay. Are are how hands bound by like something that is locked or? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, 16. 
Uh, so looking around, you don't you, you're immediately looking uh, in the cell for something you could use as a makeshift lockpick. Um, yeah. And they're very little on the ground. I mean, the, the cells are actually fairly clean. They're not um, uh, particularly filthy, although the room itself is damp. Um, you hear the sound of the, the ocean sort of rushing in. And the, uh, it's, it particularly as the, the, it gets earlier or later into the evening and in the morning um, gets closer, the stone itself seems to uh, be almost wet to the touch. Um, the uh, but the, the there's just not much lying around in the cell itself that you that you feel you can use. Um, due to the nature of the sleep you were in, you really weren't able to prepare much ahead of time, um, and you are still quite groggy as as you didn't get as much as you required, um, and you are still quite cursed. Uh, with that, the guards uh, come down and they grab. Uh, uh, they open Adeptus' cell and they pull him out. Uh, they walk you up. Uh, yes, uh, it, it, it's down the hallway, up the um, up a flight of stairs into that um, sort of warm uh, office. Um, as you see the uh, the man uh, again with the short short brown hair, a little spiky in the front, um, sort of uh, again combing through his notes and um, looks up at you from the desk and says, uh, "Yes, yes, take a seat." State your name. Your name. Adeptus Theodore. Adeptus Theodore. And uh, Adeptus, you are from Kisatia, yes? That I am. What is your rank with the Priory? What business is that of yours? What is the meaning of all of this? Why do you bring me here and waste my time and my companion's time? What is? What are the charges laid against us? This place must follow a legal system, as I know all of Kasatan cities do. Yes, quite right. Uh, and then, as you know, you know that I am High Inquisitor here in the city. That I do. Your compatriots and yourself uh, are essentially charged with cavorting with known persons of ill intent. Um, we have reason to believe that the tiefling you travel with The tiefling? Is, yes, the, the devil child. When you said criminal, I naturally assumed... Well, we will Other get to that. Of... We will get to that as well. Um, but that for now, I can explain. for now, our primary concern is the tiefling, the one you call Kalita. What you say on what crime? We will get to that in a moment. Please, if you will, and he, you watch as he bolsters the uh, cast the ritual for Zone of Truth. Um, yes, yes. Please do. Yes, please, please explain to me the nature of your visit to Uppsala. A tragic tale, one that I'm sure you'll shed a tear at. I am on business that I shall not discuss with you. Uh, as I understand it, the um, the gnome states that you were cursed in some sort of altercation with a large backwards cat um, aboard your vessel yes, heading cat, heading cat, towards um... Peladorna in search of the um, pirate Astos ship. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, well, at least one of you is candid in your remarks. Um, disappointed to say the least, Master Theodore. Um, again, I'll ask, what is the nature of your journey here in Uppsala? The, my, the nature of my journey in Uppsala, as I'm sure you've worked out by now, is to rid me of this curse. I was assailed by 
What, to the best of my knowledge, would be a devil from the Nine Hells employed by malevolent force against me and my companions? And why, why would such a force employ such devious means to rid the, the world of you and your companions? Well, as an Inquisitor, I'm sure. Well, at least I hope you would be able to shed some light on the matter. If I was in full... Had the full facts in front of me, I would tell you. But as you can tell by this spell, I do not. This is troublesome. Adeptus. It is. Imagine how I feel. Yes, well, you, you must understand. Uh, prior to your arrival, there were several vile murders that occurred here in the city. Um, prior? Based on the information we have at hand, we are unable to determine at this time, despite our methods, uh, uh, how it has come to pass. However, several witnesses have identified the assailant as the tiefling Kalita that travels with you. That word, prior. Yes, well. As in before our arrival. It is, it is a bit of a mystery if you'll catch my undertones. A mystery, yes, quite. Although I, it seems clear to me that you are wasting our time, Inquisitor. Why would you bring us in for a crime committed before we arrived? Do you think the tiefling has wings? Well, yes, I've seen them personally. Actually, yes, that's a fair point. If you may, Adeptus, and I ask you this, Understanding the situation, I understand the optics of our methods here. However, you must, you must understand that the nature of these crimes was quite horrific. And with the majority of the hierarchy out of town, it is appalling, uh, to say the least, that we are unable to find this assailant so... When word of your arrival came and descriptions of this Kalita were given, you understand the nature of our response. I would hope. Understand. However, what remains to be seen is whether your story and your understanding of the situation and you are you and your companions are are not also being led astray by this creature did at you... any point in your journey did you lose track of this Kalita or did you see her act strangely aboard the ship um, at any point she could have magicked herself away or um, are you not all uncertain that her and this demon that you assaulted were not the one in the same How certain of you of her involvement in this matter? I would say of what I know of her character that I am strongly disagreeing with your assumption that she is the perpetrator of these crimes. You know, if I you, say, it, you say this, but... No, uh, 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 generally uh, the bequeath me for arrive. just for just a moment, uh, Adeptus, as uh, I, I have a unknown origins not sure of her intentions do not remember seeing her much aboard the ship quiet keeps to herself uh, what exactly would uh, you endeavor you to vouch for her character please days before we arrived here how long before we arrived did these murders occur? 
uh, they began a day before you arrived. A day? Ah, Sup marvelous. Su supposedly. Assaulted two days before we arrived here. And I can vouch for her whereabouts throughout the whole of the assault. And afterwards, for good measure, we all stayed together. So I was sure that she was with the group the entire time. So I, as a priest of Lythander, I can vouch for her. Are you aware and that these devils are... use trickery and illusion against us? Yes, it is a, it is a common favored weapon of their kind. I take faith in Lythander's light and know my beliefs and actions to be true. Do you fear a devil's magic over Lythander's light? I there fear is always another door. In the power of their persuasion. And, but Perhaps I your faith is lacking. Perhaps. Or you're blinded by yours. In any regard, I hope for both our sakes that you are correct in this is a misunderstanding. However, I am remiss to say that if there is a killer still on the loose who bears a striking resemblance to your Miss Kalita, um, at this point we will never know, uh, as she has grown wings and flown away. Yes, that is unfortunate. But generally, murderers <laughs> flee the scene and don't arrive at them two days later in broad daylight. Yes, well, again... Also, as an Inquisitor, you know, it is a, there it are is, many it is, it is, it is, it is a mystery that I am it. determined to solve, but that will do for, for the evening. Thank you. Um, the Laborde took the form of shipmate. I tell you, we cannot always trust our eyes. That is exactly precisely what I'm telling you, Master Theodore, and I would beg you to consider all actions in all perspectives in all possibilities here that you have been beguiled yet again um, i will have my men do the best to take care of you considering your condition and i will work with the priory to make sure that uh, we do the best to treat you while you are here um, that will be all for the evening thank you i thank you for your kindness on the curse and helping me but also, if the statement you say of I is true, then it is the Send same for your next, please. Thank you, Ma Master Theodore. That will do for the evening. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I hope you do your job well, Inquisitor. And Adeptus bows. By Lathander's light, we shall find truth in the darkness. If you, uh, if you beseech, if your round of questioning does not find what you need, I find this matter very personal and if there is a tiefling murderer out there i would would like to be involved in the party to bring it to justice i will consider your proposal i thank you kindly inquisitor yes as they shove adeptus back down and in 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 back into his cell Watch your hand <laughs> or knave <laughs> Uh, they, they take uh, Hayes next. Um, and Hayes, as they walk you up that, that same flight of stairs. Um, Master Hayes, if you could, a seat. Uh, Hayes looks at the, the seat for a second, looks over. And eventually, you know, after a little too long, takes a seat very slowly like answering him but just just being a little irritating with it uh, master hayes if you could uh, please uh explain to me the nature of your journey to Ipsala, and you watch as he makes those hand gestures and says a few words uh, do, do you do you know what you have caused to happen. I have not been able to sleep in days. Days. And I we travel this ocean and I finally come to your town and I get some sleep and then I, I someone needs to someone wakes me up. 
because I'm about to get uh, taken in, into custody. Like, uh, the, what is wrong with you people? I came here for help. Um, Master Hayes, I assume that I'm aware of your condition. The truth is, for the most part of this question, uh, already known to me. I'm simply attempting to determine your character uh, as a credible um, witness, a, a, if we'd call it that. Um, if you could just answer the question. I I came here because I, I we were attacked by some sort of a, a it looked like me but his hands were incorrect they were uh, backwards and uh, a little more colorful than I was told and uh, Adeptus it, it seems to think it was some sort of a, a devil or demon or something I don't know it's outside of my experience. This is interesting uh, to me. So you said the creature looked similar to you, uh, but backwards in with the hands. I'm familiar with such a creature. Uh, may I ask, uh, you, you recall this incid incident well, yes? Uh, well enough, yeah. I was woken up by my, my friend stabbing me uh, into the, the stomach. Yes, friends indeed. Um, and how well do you know these friends of yours, these acquaintances? You've known them for some time? Uh, it feels like forever, but uh, a few months maybe? Yes. Uh, tell me, uh, have you ever seen um, one of your friends turn into any sort of creature similar to yourself? Not one of my friends, no. Would you say it is uh, out of the reach of understanding to say that one of your friends could turn into such a creature? Uh, I have friends that can change shape, but I don't have anybody that uh, can look like me, I don't think. So, uh, change shape, please elaborate. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, it, uh, we have a friend that uh, can be a, a, like a... Like a rhino, I seen her as a rhino one time, and a, a bear, I seen her as a bear. And which uh, friend would this be? A, the one of the people we're traveling with. The, a, it's our a, a friend, a, a Kalita. Uh, she's, Kalita, yes. She, she's, she's one with nature, so she can, uh, you know, take uh, forms of uh, creatures to, uh, to battle with. And you've never seen her turn into a creature like yourself, um... Uh... No, it's never like a, a, a like a like a person type of creature. It's always like an animal type of creature. Never like a never something that looks like it was a like a pers person. I don't know if that makes sense. It, you know. I, I understand your meaning. Um, however, what I my the line of questioning is more in line with: uh, Are you aware that she can or cannot do this, or she has never done so in your presence in the months that you have known her? Uh, I've never seen her do it. That's uh, that's all I can say. I've never seen it. Interesting. Um, so your stay in the cathedral, um, at any point, I, I assume, much like Master Theodore, you um, imbibed a tincture provided by the priory, and uh, you, you proceeded to fall asleep. So you are... Uh, unable to account for the whereabouts of Miss Kalita during that time. Is that correct? Uh, yes, I was a, I was asleep until, uh, you know, we know how that went. But yes. Excellent. Well, thank you. That will be all for the evening. Really? You woke me up for that? This seems a bit rude. You take a sick man who's cursed and you wake him up just to ask him about the five questions. Why didn't you just wait until I woke up? He slams his fist does on the, ta the table. You people do not seem to understand the nature of the crimes that have been committed. Horrible acts. Children disemboweled and dismembered. Parts of them eaten alive. And the only witness we have to this crime implicates your Miss Kalita. So I apologize if the nature of our requests are not to your liking, 
Master Tabaxi. I shall make sure that your needs are taken care of. However, I have a city to protect. And if you wait, don't wait, wait, mind, wait. I have had a long evening myself. Have a good you night. We will make sure have, have you not... that you are provided the tincture from the Priory and that your curse is taken into account in your treatment here. Good evening. And with that emotion, <sighs> the guards sort of pull you down and they, they shove um, and they shove you back in the cell. Hayes doesn't say anything at all. He just he's, he's sort of uh, aghast. And uh, especially at the mention of like children being disemboweled, it, that 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 one line is just sitting with him, and you can kind of see it in his eyes that he's he, he's he's pretty disturbed. Ramnik's still putting on his bad prisoner display, still shrieking and making noise and kicking the bars and cursing everybody in dwarvish. Did they return the the cat yet? Yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm here. Ah, marvelous. Did they treat you to a three-course meal? Eh, uh, no. No, guys, this is this is bad. Uh, they, they think Kalita's been disemboweling children in the streets. Children, you say? Oh, my. Gremnik's tantrum starts to lose a little bit of steam, starts to slow down a bit. They they, they think that uh, that she has something to do with the. Ah, oh, jeez, I can't uh, I can't even imagine. Uh, um, I'm I'm sorry. Uh, I'm I'm tired, and uh, that that just not sit with me right. Bah, they think lazy guards. Gremlin, they're dead children. Uh, I can't rightly be so upset with them. Ah, it's the same tricks they always pull. Something goes wrong in the streets, and they go round up every non-human and start wringing them dry. They took a human, too. Aye, aye, the one who was hanging out with the non-humans, like, don't you notice? It, it'd be a trend. What about, uh, what about Asto, Kal uh, Kalita? Did they, they did not... Uh... They're not here, Asto? Ain't, ain't seen them pass through. Okay. Uh, Could be a big dungeon, though. I, I ain't too sure. Gremnik starts, like, rapping at the stone, trying to, like, you know, get an idea of how big this place is. A futile gesture. It's possible they could have been taken somewhere else, but they haven't come through here. We uh, we can't. Uh, what are we going to do? They they think it's going to be it's us or Kalita. So either way, if we don't clear our names or Kalita's name, we're going to be in here for I bet a very long time. I would very much like to avenge these fallen children. I'm sure of it. It was not Kalita. But the matter does interest me. If ah. we could escape, we could bring the perpetrator to justice. This do be sounding more the same, like, don't it? You know, we go somewhere, and there'll be some terrible abomination waiting for us. Da! Bring it! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that last tentacled head thing has eaten some children, too. We should make it the focus of our group. Killing things that eat children, eh? Where we go? We just keep stumbling across these things, like... Seem like it'd be our purpose to put them where they belong. Well, according to statistics in the Citadel, um, children have an incredibly high mortality rate, so I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, DM, would I know anything about the makeup of these cell doors? Would I have learned anything about them, or like the type of hinges or the locks that... Um... But I've been taught that before I left. Make a perception check. Oh, 
Also, can we see our gear from where we are? Uh, no. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a ten. Um, yeah, it's it's tough um, because even now, um, you know, again, your vision is you know you're you're having a difficult time one because of the curse and your energy is just drained and, and you still have not gotten enough as much sleep as you want. Um, at some point, um, the guards do bring. Uh, more of the uh, what what you assume for it's it's given to adeptus and you um, the stuff uh, it tastes similar to the or smells similar to the um, uh, what the were given at the priory um, uh, to prevent the nightmares um, and, and at some point um, additional uh, priests come and sort of poke around at you and, um, and they they do seem to be tending to your illnesses. Um, the sun begins to rise outside. You hear the bells of the harbor ring, um, the the sound of the ocean waves crashing against uh, what you assume is the the side of the cliff um, below you. Um, uh, as the again the the walls themselves just uh, get damp and the, the sort of shimmers in the uh, the light that that pours through the window. Uh, Asto and Kalita. Uh, you, you, you know, sneaking through the shadows, uh, becomes more and more difficult as the sun begins to creep over the horizon, um, as you, um, round the last corner before the, the sort of large keep rises up before you, a set of large stone and iron gates, um, leading into, uh, tall towers, uh, beyond, uh, and with that, We'll take a quick break. talking about is uh, uh, you know uh, uh, Val dressing up as Val and going on o- Omegle so if any of you guys are Omegle fans and throw d d <laughs> in your tags you never know if you're going to run into Val on Omegle just throwing that out there <laughs> possibly the funniest couple hours of my life so um, uh, with that again thank you very much for, for sticking in there um, and and I think we'll we'll hop right back into it. So, as the, the morning sun begins to rise, Asto, Kalita, the prison sort of looming up in, before you. Multiple guards are still streaming in chain. Many of them changing posts at this particular hour. Um, uh, but it, the, the prison itself seems fairly well guarded and fairly well fortified. Uh, what are the two of you doing? Hmm. I'm looking up at the building, looking for windows. You can get Kalita looking up the building, looking for windows. As a rat. You still a rat? I am. Oh. Mm. So go ahead and make a perception check for me, Kalita, as a rat. Um, so mm. the walls themselves I mean the structure itself is fairly massive um, and you're not certain although Asto you saw the entrance they were brought into they could be in any one of these towers I mean you sort of lost sight of them as they entered the, uh, the keep itself proper um, and there's a large set of stone stairs that sort of lead up to that gate itself. So it was, it's difficult to remain hidden. You're, you're sort of wide open trying to approach the main gate. Um, the structure of the prison 
itself is again a, a multi multiple towers there's you see several windows uh all iron barred until you get to the very top um you can see some sort of you know decorated very similar to the cathedral style with the um in the iconography of the of Lathander and um and you know what um what do you want to do what? nothing can i climb the the wall uh as a the rat wall. go ahead and make your go ahead and make an acrobatics check as rat leader Ooh, a four. Ooh. Ah. Mm, not my day. Slide uh, back onto Aspen's shoulder. Yeah, as you're attempting to essentially attempting to climb the walls, they are um, thick with that sort of like a, like a, a sort of um, moss from the ocean water underneath, and and sort of uh, like a mildew um, from the condensation first thing in the morning so they're hard to get a good uh, grip on uh you you do manage to climb on them a little bit before getting close to the edge and nearly falling over before asto comes up and grabs you in rat form okay that was all of my ideas mm. i don't really want to go in there that comes out as squeak 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 <laughs> <laughs> That one's adorable. I, I don't... I don't... I want to hide. I don't want to go into a prison. What are my options here, dear? Uh, as far as you can tell, um storm the gates um attempt to scale the wall and it's uh you know dungeons and dragons you can try anything try waving your hat is there is there a particular is there, is there a particular is there a particular god you like to pray to uh, in the times of need mm -hmm. I, I yeah um i don't know if i so my option is storming the gate or storming the gate or attempting, to scale uh, the, or attempting to scale the wall, yeah. All right. Um, but as you saw from Kalita, it, it doesn't seem to be uh, easily managed. Before I go anywhere, what's the what's the gateway like? Is there any wood? Uh, so the gate itself is stone in metal. Um, it is um, essentially a large, maybe uh, maybe. 15 feet of stone stairway leading up to two large towers uh, in the center is a, a sort of bridge structure with a with an iron or steel uh, portcullis um, Sounds like a um. uh, the actual structure of the keep is maybe another uh, 100 feet uh, behind it a lot you know built sort of on this outcropping along the cliffside okay I am attempt to climb up this this monstrosity right here. Okay. I'm gonna attempt to climb up the wall so that we can uh, have a look inside. Okay, so as you again, it's not much of a wall to climb up as so much as you are trying to essentially climb around the wall. Okay. It's sort of like a like a bridge almost that goes to the uh, the main keep itself. Um, make an acrobatics check for me. Oh, well, it's 24. Okay. Uh, so you manage to sort of stealthily climb down the wall itself and start to make your way across, um, sort of shimmying across that uh, uh, to where, like, just underneath the tower, uh, the first tower. Um, where are you trying to get to? I have no idea. I'm trying to assess 
situation. Okay, as you're staring um, out to your left again, you you see the, uh, the the structure itself, the, the stone of the cliffside is, uh, you know, melds to, uh, quickly to this the stone of the the tower. I mean, there really is no um, uh, ledge that you can that you can see to stand on. It's it's sort of built right out of the ground, um, and, and what little ground remains uh, is uh, barely passable. Um, so to do so, you'd have to try to climb your way essentially uh, three or four hundred yards um, to get to even the backside of this uh, keep, um, passing maybe the first actual tower where you imagine prisoners would be held. Uh, make a make a perception check. Six. You were a monster today with these rolls. Um, so uh, as the as the wind picks up and it is and it is it is forcing you sort of further against the the stonework itself. You you feel your hands uh, start to slip a little bit on the sort of mossy wet surface uh, as the ocean sort of is, you know dashing against the sharp rocks underneath you. Um, you do notice a small set of. Uh, iron barred windows that are um, low low uh, in the structure itself uh, closer to the water uh, how far away are they? still from your your position hundreds of yards I mean you've got quite a bit of ways mm -hmm. to go but yeah it's the, the closest thing you've seen to a possible potential entrance particularly for Kalita Yeah, I don't suppose you can do the transforming thing again. Can you even understand me? I'm still a rat. Oh. Yeah, because I could climb through the bars, basically. Yeah, so she can understand you. She just can't communicate back to you. Um, But, uh, yeah, so yeah, you're trying to, like, communicate to Kalita that there are there are bars that she could potentially get in down there? Yeah. Make a little gesture with my hands, like a bird. Oh, you want me to transform into the bird? I don't know how else to get you across without risking your lives. Okay, you just keep climbing. <laughs> I'll fail one of the rolls. This is the second, that was the second time the rat's the second transformation since you woke up. Yeah. Do you have any more today? That's my issue. No, it's just two. Is there, a, can I see a course? Something she could make a way over, or is it like. I no, it is. It, it, yeah, it is It is essentially just open air. Um, there's nothing really she can get across. Well, fuck, rat. <laughs> <laughs> What is it you do? It's got them locked up in there and me risking my neck. <laughs> <laughs> Moving dialogue. <laughs> so well spoken. Thank you. Uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it there for now. So let's. Uh, we'll we'll go ahead and switch. So. Uh, in back inside um, the cell, as the uh, uh, you know the morning um, uh, the morning uh, arrives and the the guards are bringing breakfast around, um, it is meager, um, but bread and, and water uh, with a bit of sort of stale cheese, but not you know not the worst food you've ever been fed in a prison cell for some of you. Um, the uh, more attention is given to Hayes and uh, Adeptus. Um, to examine them uh, through the course of the, the curse that they are inflicted by uh, and to care for those wounds. Um, uh, a couple more hours pass and uh, the guards come back again. Um, this time they begin to gather all of you. Five best friends getting together again. 
Yeah, every time somebody's come through and passed by his jail cell, Gremnik's been screaming at them like a barmaid and making orders for, for stout and roast mole and his freedom! Let me out of here! <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Gre- and Gremnik, tell them to get me a piece of paper and, and a quip. I've had a wonderful idea and I don't want to forget it. <laughs> uh, you can ask them yourself when they come uh, come here to get you. Uh, so as they begin to gather all of you out into the hallway, um, uh, there's a stream of maybe you know ten or twelve guards that are doing so. Literally two for two plus for each of you. Um, and as they they bring you out um, of the cells, they don't take you up to that same room that you went up before. You go up another a uh, couple flights of stone stairs um, uh, before being uh, sort of paraded through uh, a, a larger open room. Um, several seats have been have been set before you. Guards line the, the interior of the room and there's sort of a large uh, pedestal with three sitting figures. Um, the figures are... Um, one older uh, female uh, with a bit of a um, uh, a long sort of silvery hair, uh, a bit of sharpness to her ears as if there's elvish somewhere in, in her bloodline. Um, these sort of bright green eyes that, that stare out from a, a sort of wrinkled uh, elderly face. Um, in the middle uh, is a uh, like a strong, like tall, well-built, square-jawed, uh, figure with this sort of dark, um, short cropped hair, um, graying at the temples, um, uh, suited in um, a, a gambeson, uh, almost if he's any moment sort of ready for combat, um, uh, with a uh, the sort of glinting and blazing symbols of Lathander uh, on his chest. Um, the uh, uh, and the third figure is a is another. Uh, older man, um, uh, bushy eyebrows, um, uh, thinning white hair, um, sort of uh, sleepishly looking over the uh, uh, this sort of raised dais at all of you. Uh, and as you guys are sat on a, uh, a bench, um, the uh, High Inquisitor um, approaches from a sort of side chamber. Um, If it pleases the magistrates, we will we will begin. Um, I will do the best to present the case as I have seen it, um, and we will decide the fates of these individuals herein. In here. Ah, so long as they need to walk down those stairs again. Ah. Between the three, you couldn't invent a pulley and a lift? As you can see, they are quite the rambunctious bunch. So I remind you all that a swift execution is possible. Or perhaps a few more weeks in the cells. Your Majesties, the... Issue at hand uh, is regarding to the vicious and frankly vile murders that occurred not two nights ago. Um, the one, the witness that we have available has described the assailant as a tiefling female, um, pale reddish skin, horns and a tail, black tapered on either end. Um, The uh, accused has been seen at the docks arriving by ships at some point yesterday. Uh, The details of which you will see are quite confusing based on the testimony at hand. It, to our knowledge... And he points to um, Master Kazoo, uh, to Quaylen. Master Kazoo, if you would be so kind 
as to explain the nature of your arrival here in Ipsala. Again, we've been through this so many Yes, times. I know. I, I apologize, but please. Good. Pay attention. We came here due to circumstance of our crewmates and friends being cursed in search of remedy. It is really quite simple. You know the time we arrived already. I believe Mr. Adeptus has been through this with you also. Yes. Master Kazoo, the creature that assailed you aboard the um, Tainted Ghost. If you could describe the creature. Well, it's certainly not something normal you see every day, you know. Since I got I assume he's been quite that crazy. <laughs> I do digress. It's much like a male. Uh, Alpha Tabaxi, quite large, really, but the claws had somewhat deformity. It, it seems a strange mutation. Uh, it's very strange indeed, yes. I haven't seen it in quite some time. I'm sure, 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 I'll write a fine paper on it. <laughs> yes, and a, a beautiful picture you paint, Master Kazoo. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, and if you could describe to me the relationship you have with the accused, uh, this uh, Miss Kalita. Origins unknown. She's a, she's she's a tiefling, you know. You know tieflings. <laughs> Tall one too. Um, no, I, I mean, of course, it's part of a part of our crew. I, I don't know what more to say. <coughs> Thank you, Master Kazoo. Uh, Master Hayes. Eh, uh, uh, yes. Please keep in mind that we are determining your fate. So the truth and your candor is of the utmost importance in this situation. Uh, Please uh, uh, explain the nature of your relationship with this uh, tiefling known as Kalita. As uh, Quelandro said, uh, we have been traveling with her. Uh, did not know her previously uh, to a, a month or so ago, a couple of months. Uh, she has uh, been a good friend. Uh, when I'm hurt, she makes tends to me and makes sure that I'm okay. Uh, she is. Uh, she has been quite kind. And you can see the confusion here, Your Majesty, as, as these um, individuals arrived here by vessel, and I have confirmed all reports that they did, in fact, make port here just a single night ago. However, the individual, by mine own eyes, perfectly meets the description. Unfortunately, she's not here to testify, and we are still searching for her. Um, as to these individuals, they seem to have not committed any crimes. However... And I am remiss to say this. Master Gremnik. Eh? Is it not true that you also travel with a known pirate that goes by the name of Osto the Red? Gremna kind of pauses for a moment and blinks. Eh, known, you say? Ah, that not be for old Gremnik, you know. I, I don't like boats. Don't like the ocean. Don't like boats. But uh, that be that be a name of one of us, I. Were you aware like that um, Mr. Astor is wanted for quite a few crimes from smuggling, assault, uh, arson, um, uh, treason. <laughs> oh, that do be sounding uh, well. I ain't surprised, but I will also say he stood by my side, facing down all manner of abomination. 
Yes, well, uh, again, the two accused are um, not present to defend themselves, but um, thank you, Master Gremnik. Uh, uh, Master Adeptus. Yes. Uh, if it pleases uh, the court, Master Adeptus Theodore, uh, light bearer in the Church of Lathander from our own Casata, has somehow found himself as well mixed with the company at hand. Uh, Master Theodore, in your travels with this Asto the Red, and this Miss Kalita, would you have any inkling as to what their true intentions are or what their purpose is for joining your company? Well, with the matter of Asto the Red, that is a private matter which I do not wish to discuss here. I shall discuss it with you privately, but... It contains sensitive information that I would not wish to be made public, and I'm sure the top brass in Kasata would also feel the same. However, on the matter of the tiefling, Kalita, I can vouch for her whereabouts for the two days preceding our arrival to which the, the date to which the crimes were committed. So in my mind, no, I cannot see her guilty of these things. Have I made my case explanatory? Yes, quite. And um, well, we will uh, strike your uh, the um, reference to your relationship with Asto momentarily. Um, in your own research in the Citadel, did you learn anything of the abilities, nature, or capabilities of these demonic creatures, particularly those in relation to the Nine Hells? This is information that was available to you, yes? It was. This is part of your training with the Church of Lathander upon the path to Radiant. Yes? It was a subject that crossed my path. And during that Not research, had you, did you at any point um, reference any uh, material or research documentation regarding uh, the ability to control uh, other creatures, shift one's shape, project illusions? With laughs. I've seen these things with my own eyes. Yes. Not the teeth thing. But in this world, there are many things capable of what you speak of, Isn't which makes your case even lighter. Yes. And how can you be certain that they are not related to the tiefling in question? My uncertainty is the same as yours. Neither of us could say either way. This is so. Neither of us can say. One final question, um, Master Theodore. Um, is it not the case that one uh, Asto the Red ordered the ship, the Tainted Ghost, to arm its cannons aimed at the cathedral here in the port of Ipsala? I must say I have no knowledge of this. Yes, well, as you'll see the testimony in the interviews with the rest of the crew, um, this is quite the case. Um, it caused quite a scuffle and near disaster as we uh, a a a apprehended all of them. Something about a well, red um, hat. I must say, Asto the Red is an ill-bred, clay-brained, dizzy-eyed, yeasty scoundrel, so I am not surprised. Gremnik pipes up. Or he's been here before! Uh, I'm sorry? 
I, I say maybe he's been here before, and he knew what was waiting for him when he got off the boat. Mm. <clears throat> Master Gramnik, are you familiar with Kasata or the, the the worship of Lathander, for which we found this very court? Ah, your long legs and your gods. You're all so new, so young. I can't keep you all straight. Breeding yeah. so quick. Spreading all over the place. Yes, well, I, I will assure you that uh, such disparities um, in between our people are not um, as common here as maybe you're used to where you are from. Uh, uh, we have a great respect for the dwarves and uh, as well uh, as the elves, as well as the wizards and scholars of Ilisk, as um, such as Master Kazoo here. Um, we are uh, merely truth seekers and light bearers in the darkness and wish to illuminate the world if i may master adeptus i would wish to i wish to ask about the witness are they here present today they are that is actually if it pleases the court we will call our witness you will all know uh, the mistress, uh, Lady Arganel, uh, from the um, the side of the chamber, um, you see a um, sort of pale uh, woman in very fine clothes. Um, her cheeks stained with with tears. Her hair sort of pulled back. Um, what looks like finally combed and taken care of while in place is a bit disheveled um as she sort of makes her way uh with um another um sort of taller man uh a bald um it seems to be uh, dressed in a similar finery um clearly uh, adeptus this is some sort of uh what you would recognize as lesser kasarshan nobility Um, yes, uh, I'm sorry, my, um, yes, I am, I am Lady, um, Alana Arganel. Um, as the court is aware, I, I, my, um, not two nights ago, my family and my children were slaughtered, uh, before my very eyes, um, uh, the perpetrator shifted forms multiple times, first um, to a large bear-like creature, um, then to this massive gray beast with a gigantic horn. Um, it burst through my home um, before changing into uh, some sort of monster. And, and just uh, with horns and a tail and just tearing my children apart I could do, all I could do uh, was to not scream and uh, had it not been for my servant here um, arriving just in time um, I would have been surely been next but my whole family has been slaughtered and I'm sorry, and she just bursts into tears again. It is uh, quite all right, Miss Arganel, and um, uh, this description you gave, would you say that this photograph, not for, oh God, um, <laughs> this, this picture um, uh, accurately suits uh, the assailant in question? Um, and he holds up what all of you recognize as a fairly well drawn likeness of uh, Kalita. Uh, for the record, in the court, this uh, particular characterization was um, provided by uh, witness accounts from the crew members aboard um, the Tainted Ghost, as well as um, numerous sightings in the tavern. Um, the, uh, what was it on record again? This is uh, the Hungry Steed, uh, where we attempted to 
uh, obtain the assailant. Um, Miss Arganel, is this the culprit? She just sort of like nods, like tears streaming down her cheek. What say you now, Master Theodore? The witness mentioned that the creature shifted forms many times. <clears throat> the f the final form, uh, she described a monster with horns after changing through the animals previously. Is this correct? Uh, that is that is correct, sir. Uh, there, it was uh, there, the sort of humanoid form you see, but uh, the, the horns, her eyes were glowing red and our skin uh, felt like fire. Um, and she just ripped the children apart after um, battering them around in the, in the previous forms. It was, uh, I don't know, it, it, it all happened so fast. Horrific indeed, indeed. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. I must say, though, the description, red eyes, skin that burns like fire, does not ring true with uh, the Kalita. Also, this creature which committed this terrible crime, it perpetrated many forms, the final form being that which resembled Kalita. But it also took the form of other creatures, yet we do not have a grey-beasted, grey-horned monster on trial. Uh, so how do we know... Yes, which this, this, is, one? this is quite uh, difficult. This is not a creature known to us here in Kasata, um, Your Majesties. Um, Master Kazoo, I believe, has seen this creature before. What, what, what? It is... Um, uh, seen northern, uh, north of the Anorok. Um, it is a large grey um, pachyderm with a large grey horn. I believe it is referred to as a rhinoceros. Ah, oh, yes, a uh, rhinoceros. A uh, very territorial animal. It's very large. Uh, it weighs <laughs> several, several stones in a, in a bag. They can hit with the force of, of well, a rhino. It it's with the force of a rat. And I Master... Perhaps I should make a unit of measurement. And Master Kazoo, and, 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 yes, thank you, thank you. That is, that is quite wonderful. I appreciate that. Um, if, if you may... R-Q, the... that will be the abbreviation. Yes. When, when is the last time you've seen such a creature? Oh, I, I'm, a, I'm a, I don't know if I've ever seen that. Be, be honest now, I'm Master Kazoo. I can't say I've seen a, a true rhinoceros in, in the wild, except in maybe a picture book. Uh, but <laughs> aside from that... All right, well, it would appear that our, um, the truth is becoming harder and harder to find. Well, I, 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 Any I one of you, tell. the last time I, you've seen a, rhino a rhinoceros, assume that we know the answer in that it is your character we are judging today, not the one in question. Miss Galamadel? Yeah... How do you know my last name? You know stuff about me, don't you? I know what it is my job to know. Yeah. <clears throat> the last time you've seen such a creature. Like a real one? Please answer the question. On a ship? Probably okay. four days ago or so. Interesting. What was the nature of the sighting? Well, it was Kalita. She was helping us kill that demon devil. Yes. Yes, thing. yes. She was helping you kill the devil in 
Yes. Um, interesting. Did you see her actually kill this devil? Well, she was trying to help us hurt what was attacking us, which happened to be a devil of sorts. I don't know. Yes. Your Whatever. Majesties. Like, three uh, of these guys got cursed. It is the opinion of the Inquisition that the, uh, well, uh, boisterous as they may seem and uncouth as they may be, um, the individuals at hand are not evil by nature. It is, it is our belief that they have been taken advantage of, that they have been tricked through magical means by this devil spawn tiefling Kalita uh, into believing um, for her own benefit that uh, they are friends, um, best friends, one might say. Um, however, it is the opinion of the court that they have, uh, uh, that the unfortunate trustworthy nature of the group aside, um, they are not in fact at fault. We have received several reports that they have actually um, done significant good um, on the uh, continent of Escaland. Um, uh, Master Theodore comes highly recommended um, in his studiousness, in his honesty, in his fervor uh, for the truth in the light of Lathander. Um, uh, dis despite the uh, their known acquaintances, uh, I do believe that they are at no fault. It is our position here with the Inquisition that we retain them as we believe that they may be in significant danger from their friend um, known as Kalita. Um, otherwise, we do believe that they are overall innocent and bear no ill will toward the nation of Kasata or its citizens. You, you, you do know you've just been asking the incorrect questions, correct? I'm sorry, Master Hayes. I, 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 what? Instead of asking uh, if Kalita is killing things, wouldn't it make as much sense that the the demon that attacked us just took the form of Kalita? Like you have no strong argument that it is, was the way. It was my impression that you said the uh, demon that attacked you was vanquished, but to that point, Master Hayes... No, he was not vanquished. I... He, he escaped. What to you seems the more likely outcome from, again, your smart creature? From my perspective... From your perspective, you have uh, conjecture, things, you have... Uh... All things could be conjecture, then. Is that not the case? However, I have a witness that puts your friend at the scene of a no, crime. You are, a friend who you, have you know carries the blood of devils inside her. This is not conjecture. This is reality. It is the nature of what she is. No, you have a, as someone the who same witnessed friend a shapeshifter. Shifts shapes into, from what we understand, are similar to known shapes she has taken in front of all of you. It is our position that you have been manipulated by this creature. And our ah, duty to your protect position. Her. Your position atop a tower poorly built by young hands. You see nothing from up here. Ah, you know what we've seen? We've seen that girl stand side by side with us, facing down more matter of abomination than you've seen in all your time sitting up here judging those passing before you. He's right. This is very poor construction. This is a sham trial. <laughs> ah, this is a sham tower, too. Even if... Kalita could shift to a bird and leave the ship that we were on. There is no way she would make it to land, or at least here, before losing her form. In your own words, what no. happened to the devil that you were sailed by? He what said happened? he would hunt me till I died. And he... Uh so phased. Uh, you, you have to, he, he phased. He 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 disappeared. He, he uh, is uh, this a, is this um, is this a particularly unique magical ability? 
Can anyone uh, else hear phase from existence or appear magically in one place? No. Uh, sort oh. of. I have once polished a piece of metal so nicely that you could see your face, yes. Yes, and Master <laughs> Kazoo at the Lyceum, is it not commonplace that higher level arcanists learn such skills? It is possible, though. Not so possible. it is in the nature of not only these devils, but of many beings of different powers and skill sets, particularly those that uh, seem to be naturally gifted in the art of um, shape shifting. Has Kalida ever shown any other signs of being gifted in the arcane? Yeah. We don't have no casters among us. Old Gremnik don't trust the arcane as far as he can throw it. See, Master Gremnik, that is, uh, that is a lie. And I would ask that you please be honest with your answers. Anyone else wish to give a try? I understand that you're, you're, you are trying to protect your friend. Who, who you but are just trying just to friend. sin. I am trying to point out the obvious... Loophole We're trying to point situation. out that you're obviously wrong. No, Ma Master Hayes, you consider yourself honest, yes? Yes, I do. Okay. So, again, what I ask is that you posit the possibility that you're wrong. Again, I have not the opportunity nor the capability at the moment to question the individual as she has vanished. So what would you need to be convinced that she is innocent? I am asking you. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a Miss Kalita show any adept for any other capabilities one might consider arcane in nature? We're a, an adventuring party. We need access to all sorts of abilities in order to survive while we're fighting off the demons that we're using, that are that they're manipulating society. And we're yes, keeping you safe. She's been I, keeping you safe. Well, I do not deny that many of you are talented. What I'm asking it, is if it is it? possible that she had such a capability and you are unaware do you know all? No. Of, do you all? Do you know all of Miss Kalita's capabilities? No, I don't know what everything she can do, but I know her character. Interesting. You're ah, yes. we've had our backs up against the wall enough times to see what trick she can pull in a pinch, and there'll be nothing what you're saying. But again, this is the case as the Inquisition has put it forth. With that, um, we call to again detain peacefully. Uh, the individuals at hand for their own safety until we can get uh, uh, to further our inquisition uh, and the inevitable capture of one Asto the Red in Kalita, origins unknown. Um, uh, if that pleases the court, uh, we do find the uh, herein defendants uh, uh, innocent uh, of all charges except for the ignorance of goodness uh, and perhaps compassion uh, of those who have seen uh, uh, much darkness in their lives. He stands up immediately and goes, We will find the killers. We will clear her name. Don't lock us in a cell. You know that for your inquisition that we are capable people. Ah, we're not doing their dirty work for them. Not after this. Ah, trial by combat. I demand it. <laughs> <laughs> We're so not a, doing their dirty work. We're just clearing our friend. The large, ah. the large figure sort of stands up from behind and says, "I." He looks down at the other two. If I understand the court, um, it, it would. I understand your position, Master Dwarf, and I understand all of you or looking after your friend. I believe you to be honest, good people by nature. I would ask that you trust that the High Inquisitor has your best interest at heart, even if you may not believe so, as you have spent the last evening behind the bars. This is not indicative of our philosophy 
of our or of our methodology. We are hunting a killer, and we ask that you understand. While your friend so may yet still be innocent, it is in my experience that, much like many of you, innocent people do not run away. According to the records here, Master Gremnik, you did not run. Miss Val, you did not run. Master Hayes, you did not run. Master Kazoo, you did not run. Ah, I would have carved my way out of there right through those lads you sent, but I felt bad for them. Your, your prowess in combat is not at question here, Master Dwarf, and I appreciate your fervor as I have had many Dwarven friends in my court. What I ask is that you understand our position, given the information at hand, and let us please get to the bottom of the situation. Keep us somewhere a little more comfortable. Nah, yeah, no innocent. keeping! No keeping! Freedom or death! <laughs> I believe this is this is possible. We could have them moved to the the higher floors with a, a bit of entertainment. Again, I am concerned that this uh, Kalita may um, return and again try to sway them without us, you know, first questioning her. So um, again, you know, please understand, it is a limited entertainment. You shall be fed. Uh, those of you with affliction shall be cared for. Consider it a um, a vacation. Master Dwarf, I will even work on getting uh, as good a liquor as I can find in uh, what you have described as a long-legged piss bucket of a city. <laughs> Let me reflect on the words for a moment. <laughs> hey, that do sound like something I'd say. Uh, the, inqu but the Inquisition you, you, you'd say uh, you can protect us from her court. you can't protect us from her if you can't even find her well ah, you're uh, useless, let me, perhaps let me rephrase um, if, if this friend of yours is as good a friend as you say and you believe her innocence with all of your fervor and passion uh, will she not come to rescue you in your time of need Hey, that would be the typical way of things, wouldn't it? Would this perhaps be an opportunity for all of you to convince her that uh, simple questioning um, from us uh, could exonerate her of, of whatever wrongdoings she is uh, unfortunately accused of, of doing? Eh, after seeing us locked up for no reason, I'd not be remiss if she didn't. I'd be understanding if she chose not to reveal herself. I would be, um, uh, no reason, uh, again, I, I believe yourself to be, um, more intelligent than that, Master Gremnik, um, and I believe uh, that if the situation were changed and, and this were, in fact, a dwarven city and it was your own dwarven children whose lives had been taken from you, um, I would not be under similar scrutiny and it had nothing to do with your race it had nothing to do um with your character only the company you chose to keep unfortunately um and again i will hope that you uh, remember this um if perhaps miss kalita shows herself to you uh with that court is adjourned uh, we will lead them. We will prepare uh, slightly better uh, uh, chambers on the higher levels for the defendants. And um, uh, we will uh, continue our search for um, the um, accused. If Ta, your majesty, if Grimm, appreciate if liquor, that. Thank you. Can, can I get a live hen, please? That's, I just want a live <laughs> hen. Uh, we will see what we can do. Thank you. Ah, you just make sure whoever takes this office after your short-lived things are dead. Do you remind them that we're up in that tower, aye? Uh, as the uh, the magistrate starts to leave uh, and everybody starts to walk out, 
um, you guys are, are again, you're, um, you're, you begin to get led um, out of the chamber. And many of your possessions are given back to you. The weapons are still held uh, for the time being. Um, uh, the shackles removed. Um, Hayes, what's your, your passive perception? Perception's pretty high, right? Uh, it is 14. Did one of you beat that? I think Adeptus says higher. Uh, mine's 15. Mine, mine's 16. Perfect. As you are um, you're being handed back the majority of your items, right, in this hall outside of, um, the slightly bigger room outside of the, the hall that you were just in, Val, across the room, you see um, the Lady Arganel uh, and her butler um, also being let out. Again, the tears still fresh on her cheeks. Um, the, um, they, they're slowly walking her back out towards the entrance. Uh, and uh, you meet her eyes as um, they make their way out of the, out of the building. Uh, sort of lingering gaze for a moment. Um, sad, um, dark brown. Um, and in a single moment, bright yellow as this cruel smile spreads across her face. <sighs> and in a flash... And that's what we'll pick up next week. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, thank you guys. A little uh, ending, a little short tonight, but it felt like the right spot to do it. So thank you guys for for hanging in there. Um, still three hours and thirty six minutes. I feel like that was good. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. That's fun. Great. Yeah, you know, be stay safe out there, and uh, we'll uh, see you next Tuesday. Bye. 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 Bye.